Good morning, wherever you are. Hello. And today I'm going to be going through OTX Studio. And last Friday I went to an event uh, hosted by OTX Studio. So I thought I'd talk about their product today. No, I'm not getting paid for it. No, don't receive anything. No, I only got free credits, as you'll see. But it was a great event. And for me, when I saw this product, I had been thinking about how you could do this with AI for a long time. And when they came back with exactly the idea or better than the idea that I had, I realized that this could be an amazing product. Lightrix is a massive company that's brought us lots of AI apps, Facetune, there's a whole host of ones you probably know or used or seen the results of, which made me very excited that there's actually got some weight behind it and some money to create something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rumble through it and show you what it can do and see if it's going to be for you. $8 to start, very cheap compared with some of the others. So let's have a look, see what it's all about. This is LTX Studio. So once you sign up, you get inside here, which is pretty simple, isn't it? I like that. So what do you start with? So you've got, these are some of the projects I've done. This is in beta. You've got to realize this is in beta. So they're working on it. It's a massive, massive undertaking. I understand this from the pain I've been through creating video with AI. It's not an easy task. Sounds easy, and a lot of people will tell you, oh, just do this with AI, chat GPT, and, uh, and it, it will feel like it's easy. It's not easy. Consistent characters, colors, scripts, understanding what part of the story is happening at one point, not duplicating the character within that story, doing the same thing or the same images. You imagine you could have the same kind of image over and over again if you the kind of story that repeats itself a little bit. Anyway, let's have a look. See where they are. They are working tremendously. And I love the idea. This is if the ultimate goal, I keep talking about this ultimate goal of one prompt movies, this is definitely a step in the right direction. Whether it's the right way of doing it, who will know? But I certainly like this idea and this structure. So what do you start with? So you can start with an idea or start with a script, which is really cool. So if you've got a script already, you can just plug it in and it will go and slurp it up and create a story from it. This is a very, very powerful. Where does this product sit? This product sits in between. I remember someone talking about Disney where they've got script writers sit around a room, write the, write the idea, then the script, then the storyboard, which will be done probably by hand, now probably by image. And then most people will go from storyboard to film. And Disney, if you've ever seen them, basically have a bit in between that where they get a half decent uh, filmmaker. So these are pretty, pretty good filmmakers who will make an, a film between the two. So it'll be like uh, not cartoon. Sometimes it's cartoon, but the cartoon version of the film. So you can actually pretty much watch the film before they spend millions and millions of dollars on it doing it. And obviously this film costs 100,000, 50,000, which is a, a absolute priceless when you can see that. So I also see that as this product where you can create a really good version of the film before you shoot it or you spend the time with AI creating an amazing film. So there we go. Let's create something. I'm talking too much. So you can do a script. So you can take that script, bung that in there and then create that kind of version. Or you can start with an idea. I'm going to start with an idea here and show you how to do it. You can start with a, a blank canvas and do it yourself. I'm not going to do that. So let's start with a prompt. So this is going to create my story. Otherwise, you could create your own story, but I'm going to show you what it can do. 
So what is this film about? Gives you some ideas, you can create anything. So we're going to put a cyborg, not with caps on, in the future who found the remains, this is just coming straight out of my head, of the human world before cyborgs. The story is a hero's journey where the cyborg brings back pure humans. Oh, that's really dark or really cool, but there we go. Next. So what it's going to do now is absorb that and then it's going to create a story, a story, not only a story, film story. It's also going to create characters, as you see. It's also going to give me a style. Mad, isn't it? It is mad. So Zeta's Journey is giving it a name as well, so I can change that. We'll go for that. We can put aspect ratio, so we can say whether it's square phone size. I like that new way with 916 phone size. You can put a style reference. It's, it is mind blowing, isn't it, really? Where we are, a style reference. So say there was a particular, should we do that? Let's do a style. I had something. I've got the matrix there. We could do that. I really love this image. I'm going to put this in. This is a shot from an image that I created, which is amazing. So let's put cinematic, cinematic inspiration. So neon, red, bright, futuristic. Have I put too much in or is it stopped? No, that's all I can put in. So now our characters. So that's our cyborg. Determined cyborg seeking to restore humanity, brave human survivor and ally. I like this story. Why do I like this story? So we're going to put character name, Dr. Tremolo, spelt wrong, essence, evil baddie. I don't know what to put there. Evil, what is he? Evil boss. Dude. Appearance, 40, smart, clever, rich, powerful, controlling, clothing. Black, shiny voice. On every thorn, delightful wisdom grows. In every rill, a sweet instruction flows. Got my microphone on, so it's not playing it for me. But there we go. I don't know what that is. That's not him. He's your horse in there. Put it in the wrong place. Male cyborg. This is crazy, isn't it? I'm already, if you're a creative person, you're just forming, moulding stuff as you go, which is sometimes the hardest thing. Apply. So we got our three characters. We can put something else in there. All right. You could go on, can we? All right. Let's just do another character. Who's this going to do? We're going to do Z block 35. Essence cyborg spy for Dr. Tremolo. Appearance half human, half cyborg. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, but it's fun, isn't it? Half a cup. You want to go now, don't you? You want to have a go. Big hair, guns, clothing, black shiny. Got to give him another voice. Harry anxious. Okay. But male? No, let's put female. I think female was the right thing, actually. I always had this thing that there was going to be a an very odd cross section of male and female in the future where it was like 10 to 1 or something either way. So maybe this is it. So we all got the same, same kind of. We can feel we could change that, of course, but just give you an idea. Start. Off it goes. Now you're going to see even more mind-blowing stuff. It is truly tremendous, isn't it? So now it's gone away to do this stuff. I know. You're probably going, oh my god, I did. So now, oh yeah. So now we've got, this is why it's so cool. Because what it's done is, if you ever try to write a story or an ad or something like that, the biggest challenge is to set it up in a logical way, first of all, because with any film or any video, what you do, you'll start off with one and then you'll set the next bit and then you'll change this bit and then you have to go around and then change it all again. With this, it's just laid it all out. So you've got in your head a good idea of where stuff's going to be. This is not perfect. I guarantee you, you go, oh, he doesn't do this. But look at it. 
Right, so we've got, there's another thing inside this, and let, let's go through it then. So we've got scene left, so you can play that scene, you can copy that scene, it gives you an overall, which is amazing, the director's kind of notes. Abandoned landscape, dim lighting. So you talk about all this stuff. Style scene, the voiceover you can have. You've got the cast here, you've got the soundtrack you can put on afterwards. You can put the voiceover. You can edit the shot. So let's go through some of this. But in effect, what is done, it's laid out this little movie for me. Crumbling playground, rusty swings. Terminator-esque that, isn't it? Beside a dusty child's toy. Oh my God. All in the same color. And it's gonna be character, character consistency as well there. You've got two characters in there interacting. And then we've got some got to finish the movie so you can see it now but let's generate let's show you the shot editor first before i generate so shot editor so this is the next thing that blew my mind now what you can do is you can go into that so it's basically an image that is going to generate the the, the video from so you can go in here and you can generative <laughs> i know so say i didn't like a building or a person or whatever you can change that. Remove stuff. So generally to feel will we'll say oh, that building's got to be red. Change the camera angle. It's mad, isn't it? You've got the prompt. You've got the type of shot. So we've got close up and all that stuff in there as well. Look, I know. Natural motion, camera motion, keyframe control, scale. You've even got a seed. So it's got a seed in there. And then you can say how long it's going to be. I know. Mind blown now or not? And then we can go through the other scenes. As you can see at the bottom, these are all the scenes. So I can go through my little movie. What's this? This looks cool. I'm going quiet because I'm just blown away by it as well. They've got voices. Oh, they've got voices. It's not perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect. So at the top there, you've got shot editor and storyboard. So I'm going to click back to the storyboard. That was scene nine I was on. And then what you can do is you can preview. So we've got nothing to preview. It's just going to be the, the images. Or we're going to actually get something created. So I'm going to go to this shot because I really like that, whatever that was. A small group of humans huddled together, eyes wide with fear. Wow. Right, so I'm going to click generate video. So what it's going to do now is take that shot and then create, how many seconds was it? Hopefully not long because I've got many seconds in my my bank. So what we can do is wait for that. So I'll go quiet while it's doing that. It's finished. It took two mi no, a minute. So I'm just going to open it up and then play it to you. As I said, it's not perfect. Where are we? So I'm just going to close that down. So that's what you can do. Then you go through, you create your scenes, you create your setup, and then at the end of it, what you can do is, as you go through, you create all your scenes, and then at the end, you can put it all together, puts all the scenes together, the voiceover and everything, into a little movie or big movie. So I think you've got to absorb where you are with this. Totally set up, as far as I'm concerned, totally set up as everything you would need to do this it's there yeah change the shot characters scenes editing you've got everything that is the beauty of this i think the image generator is wanting the film generation is wanting but these are just small parts of the big puzzle the fundamental stuff i think they've done ex perfect job the voiceover soundtrack casting it is perfect the layout i did give them some feedback to say it was maybe a little complicated but actually going back over this i think there's no other way you could have done it i think the shot editor is is genius i've been rambling on about this product but definitely one to watch this is nowhere near what it's going to be and when it gets going when this actually Great images, powerful video. We know what video can do now. They're going to catch up very soon.
There's a lot of open source stuff they could use right now and plug it in. I'm sure they're doing their own. They're that kind of company. But I love it. I think it's a excellent way to create a short film now. And then as we go on, it's going to be totally mind blowing what you can do and what people are going to do. So that how many times in the last month there's going to be some 14 year old kid in his bedroom who's going to create a blockbuster one day. There's got to be. Maybe that's the product to do it. I don't know. But that's where we are now. Love it or hate it. They got so many things right, I believe. What do you think of it? Is it a total waste of time? Is it going to change Hollywood? Is it not even going to be worth your time looking at it? I would love to hear your comments. So please me say share and share and like. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.